The Manufacturer Association of Nigeria says until the federal government fixes all the infrastructural deficiencies across the country, that the participation of the country's manufacturing sector in the African Continental Free Trade Agreement will begin to have meaningful contribution to the nation's economy. The group says the Nigerian government attitudes towards smooth participation has been in that because of decayed infrastructure, multiple taxation and high cost of doing business in the country. The national president of MAN, Engineer Mansour Ahmed, who was represented by the vice president of Lagos Zone, Dr. John Aluya, made the remarks at the business meeting of the association in Ketcher branch. Aluya noted that for the Nigerian manufacturers to be able to compete favorably with their counterpart in the AFCFGA scheme, government must do the needful and engage stakeholders in policy formulation. The chairman, Ikeja branch of Man Otumba Francis Meshui, noted that new normal occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic has called for the need to reposition the Nigerian manufacturing sector in order to meet the new global demands while speaking on the theme of building and sustaining great companies in a period of economics and uncertainty, building capabilities to thrive in a large integrated market. Professor Ndubisi Ekekwe of Harvard Business School, USA, admonished Nigerian manufacturers to improve on their products, bring in technology and new innovations. A discussant, Bernard Oji, advised the group to look beyond the shore of the country and tap into the larger market provided by the AFCFTA. There is still no solution yet on the AFCFTA, how it will impact on the Nigerian economy. But we are going ahead with the AFCFTA. AFC with the belief that the government will wake up and address the deficiencies. We are not against global trade. We support global, global trade. But we want the government to address the deficiencies that will impact neg negatively on the local manufacturers. Once these are done, I think Nigerian manufacturers are resilient. They are strong enough and they will be able to, they will be able to compete effectively if the deficiencies are addressed. The trade key that drive this forum's objective and after is one of them um man on his own is as a committee standby committee that is reviewing the process of our of us ascending into after properly reviewing the regulations that could come on board and how it will affect us so and what the DGI said as as we are doing that we are looking inward to let members know how this will affect them so they get prepared it is the attention of man that by the time it's coming full of board, uh, uh, on board, most members will have been more than prepared to embrace it properly. Ten times more jobs that we had within the time of the landlines. And that's the way technology works. It comes, it takes a while, you know, some jobs, people lose their jobs, but it's just an opportunity for people to reskill and retool and learn newer things. And as you do that, you become more relevant and then you can also get a fact in my view, more value-adding jobs. So that's, you know, is the way it works. Yes, there's lots of jobs for some people, but those same people can learn new things, learn new skills, and become more relevant in the new dispensation. How can we, as manufacturers, say, do we just say, hey, let's take out of the studio for this person, let's see how we can now have a better integration with six core universities helping them to bring young people that can help us to drive that knowledge base because without that knowledge, we as manufacturers do not even have